everybody. This is uh, video number two about Cubase 14 Pro. Just came out and I'm so excited about this new improvement I want to show you. And this is the old version. This is 13 and this is like a, a big Q orchestral. And if I select all the files and I click the scores, you know, open score editor button here, control R, I get, of course, this window, which I just never liked. The early versions, I think Cubase was not meant to do printouts and scoring. I think the fonts are bad, you know, I mean, with the name, everything, the layout and, and everything is so small and, and getting, you know, getting in there and doing changes and formatting and it just looked horrible. It's just, you know, for me, it never worked. And over here, you know, yeah, you know, they tried to get it better. But even there, look at this. It's just tiny, uninviting, not really happening, right? And and then also, you know, you could never really do uh, work with the other uh, notation programs unless you export it as a media file. It, at least they got it to XML, which looked a little bit better. But look in here, there's no dynamics there is no slurs there's nothing right so you have to actually write this all in if you really want to make this work so that's why nobody bothered i guess with uh, cubase as a notation program and even uh, as a recording artist playing from those print out uh, you know lead sheets was just always horrible so anyhow i just wanted to show you this let's hop over to cubase 14 and see what they've done in this brand new release so let's check out what they did in version 14. So I selected my media. This is a mock-up of the Rocketeer. You can watch another video, um, which I did to test our sample library. And if I go to score, open score editor, it opens with a brand new interface and you can see my instruments. You can already see it, it picked all the instruments I selected with the names. And it looks already very clean. Of course, if you didn't record... Uh, you know, uh, quantized, you see it's not quantized and you have to do some magic, but you can. You can work with all of this. You can change, like in Dorico, by clicking on the little icons, dynamics, articulations, meter, time, everything you want to do. But here is what we've been waiting for. You can now click on file and you can export, you know, not just the media file or the XML, which was good enough, uh, but you can also export a dorico file and um, let's call it test i already did this earlier but i do not do it again save it as a test file and now i can go over to dorico and i can imp open that at a regular dorico file and continue my editing and getting ready for publishing or for a session or whatever you want to do with your file this is major this is really worth i think the hundred dollars uh up upgrade price if you own uh um, Cubase Pro 13. Uh, for me, it's worth it because often you start in your sequencer fleshing out ideas and doing things, and then you can quickly now get them over to Dorico and, uh, you know, and continue working. And look, even the slurs, everything is already so much nicer in, in this uh, uh, score editor. And I'm sure there are functions I haven't even checked yet because I just started I got the program uh, today, so I'm going to dive deeper into it, but I just want to share this. So here we go over to Dorico. Let's see how it looks over there. So here I am in uh, Dorico 5, and I imported my test file. And as you can see, it created all the players. At this point, as solo players, so you might have to uh, create a group player if you want violins instead of one violin. But you know what? It's a start. I don't complain. This because I look at the score. Even the pedal markings, everything is nicely, uh, you know, brought over. And if you, if I look uh, through the score a little bit, even the strings, some of the legato lines I played into uh, Cubase actually now have a legato marking, right? Like we saw in Cubase at the score. So, which is great. So this speeds up my workflow. And now you can continue editing your file straight here in Dorico. So I think this is a wonderful improvement. Uh, something we've really been waiting for for a long time. So here we go. Thanks for watching. This was a very quick video and more to come about QAs 14. Thanks. Mm -hmm.